Okay, so I'm going to go into the abdomen. I've got a sharp scalpel. I'm going to cut a little bit lengthwise across. I'm going to get out of the way just in case something does come squirting out at me. There. There's a little bit of material. So she's thawed out. I had it thawing out over the weekend. I'm going to cut up the middle. Through the hide. Notice how thick the hide is on this bear. Even on a young bear like this. Really thick skin and dense fur. Skin back around the side a little. Now, for those of you who've worked with skinning animals before, whether for hunting and then for consumption or for research and preparing skins, perhaps, um, they really do skin a lot easier when they're warm than cold. Now this one was in the freezer for several months and thawed it out for several days since last Thursday. And it's actually pretty workable. I have some larger bears that I think in the freezer, at least one that would take a lot longer to skin. I'm trying to see if just by skinning out this chest cavity in the abdomen, if we'll get to see any signs of the trauma from the vehicle strike. You notice I'm not taking care like we would if we were pelting this out, if we wanted to save the hide. So if I get a few nicks in the hide, that's okay. Not ideal, but it's okay. Here we go. This is where the injury was. Beginning to see where we've got um, bruising and pooled blood in the hind quarter here. More bruising as I open up this thigh. I'm going to put the scalpel down for a second. And hopefully you can see that bruising and the clotting of the blood, the coagulated blood. This dark bruise line between the muscle group. Indicating some shock and then bleeding. Get on the other side and see what we can see. Yeah, more in the groin area here. And then we'll get up in this front shoulder. I'm going to kind of skin down the foreleg instead of trying to peel it. If we were working on a bigger animal or if we were doing this for processing it, we'd have it hanging most likely and be able to work with gravity to get some of the hide off. But for doing this necropsy, uh, working on the table is fine because then we'll be able to roll it around as we need to. It seems like maybe a little bruising in this front shoulder area as well. So, try the other side. Let's see what we see.
can see how its belly is distended from that bloating. I wasn't really confident what to do with it when I had it at home. <laughs> if I wanted to open it up and let that gas out or not. I think I'm glad I did. I don't think we would have wanted to be doing that, releasing that gas now. You wouldn't mind because you're not here. <laughs> but I would certainly mind. Yeah, see now we're getting some good evidence of this trauma, all of this um, damaged, bruised tissue inside the hind leg and the groin. Hopefully you're able to see that well. I'm gonna turn this video off so I can roll the animal and we'll get some of the We'll expose the other side of the thighs in a minute.